Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mermaid Radio. You are listening to this week's Universal Energy Reading using the 16 Kauri and the Veve Prophecy Cards. I am Mami Olufunke. This reading is in effect from today, Monday, August 3rd through Sunday, August 9th, 2020. Let's get started. The universal energy reading for the planet this week sees Ten Kauri on the mat and Ling Le Su Osayen in the Veve Prophecy Cards. Here, Earth Mother is crying over spilled milk and telling anyone who will listen that she is upset with us, that she's not happy, that we don't care for her, we don't take care of this world. Earth Mother is constantly pregnant, constantly building upon herself resources for us to use but we're taking too much and we need to stop doing that earth mother says that it's vulgar of us to act in such a greedy manner removing all the diamonds removing all the oil letting gas escape and it's just too much for earth mother earth mother needs us to take care of ourselves and take care of others as we take care of ourselves so if we like a clean environment for ourselves we need to make sure the environment is clean for for her too we need not just drop potato chip bags we need to dispose of all all trash things properly the plastics if we can recycle them we need to do that Ashe. The universal energy reading for the people this week sees seven Kauri on the mat and Osayena Zaka in the Veve prophecy cards. Here, seven Kauri is talking about us keeping our word and doing like we said we would do. If we promise to meet every other weekend for, you know, discussion and entertainment, whatever it is that we said we would do, we need to do it so that our relationships can stay whole and can grow. We can grow together. We can make plans. It also says that people, we need to follow our vision. We need to work on that which we came to this world to do and as groups. And we need to do ceremony so that our relationships are brought into the sacred. And that will help us this week. Ashe. The universal energy reading for love also sees seven Kauri on the mat and Agbao Rune as Shu in the Bebe Prophecy cards. So where love is concerned, seven Kauri is saying that we are not keeping our promises and we are being maybe just a little mean, picking and fighting and we're becoming disenfranchised. Our relationships are not being aren't cohesive because we bicker and argue and pick. Please don't do that to each other. If you're feeling depressed about your relationship, take a bath in salt water, call out to Yamaya to cleanse you and fortify you so that you can see the good in your love and your uh, relationship can be genuine and long lasting. Uh, Shay. The universal energy reading for money this week sees six Kauri on the mat and Olodumare Orumila in the Veve prophecy cards. So in money, we have to really be careful of being too independent and too individual. We have to remember that we have made promises, signed contracts. We might have legal agreements and documents and people are going to hold us to it. So we do need to recognize the group in relationships to money. If you have to sign any contracts this week, read the fine print and make sure that you can follow through with what's being asked of you. Ah, Shay. The universal energy reading for health and well-being this week sees five Kauri on the mat and Azaka is Shu in the Veve prophecy cards. So here it talks about sweetness. It talks about uh, situations where we get together. So we have to be careful of the time. You know, the time now would we have to wear a mask. We have to do the social distancing, wash our hands often. If we don't feel well, we have to stay home. And other than that, if we make appointments 
to gather together and deal with people. We need to keep our appointments. To step back on that, people won't trust you. They'll be worried that maybe you have some, some ulterior motives. So if you know you're supposed to go see the doctor, please go and see the doctor. And be careful of the sweets this week. Not to, not Don't go overboard. Even if you crave it, try to eat something naturally sweet like honey, dates, uh, fruits, pineapple, something naturally sweet rather than stuff with added sugar and keep up with your goals so that you can attain them. Ashe. The universal energy reading for spiritual development this week sees eight kari on the mat and eshu obatala in the veve prophecy cards. All our other relationships are kind of wobbly this week. But the spiritual development, your, your spiritual development is in divine order. Things are, are going to go good. If you follow the established rules for your group, for your community, you'll make some progress, a lot of progress this week. If you walk with coolness, with peaceful heart, if you walk as Obatala, you will in fact become Obatala. So be cool. Be honest. Keep your intentions pure. Make your prayers. You can even wash your head this week. That will help. And just enjoy your prayers, your spiritual development path. Ashe. This has been Mami Olufunke's Universal Energy Reading. I thank you for joining me this week. If you like this information and find it useful, please like, subscribe, add notifications to know when the next video is available. Please check out mermaidbotanica.com. Have a great week, everyone. Odabo.